Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about uh, pizza wheels versus the turbo style wheels on an i3. Uh, mainly because I know that uh, aero style wheels uh, have been reported on Teslas to improve the uh, mileage by several percent and I'm wondering if it's the same case. Here you can see that the uh, pizza wheels versus the uh, turbo style wheels that are typical on the uh, 19 inch uh, style uh, wheels on the i3. The i3 came with uh, three different styles for the 19 inch and three st styles for the 20 inch wheels. The uh, openings in the wheels between the pizza style which is the first one on the upper left and the turbo are about the same compared to the uh, uh, 20 inches which are quite a bit different. If you look at Tesla wheels you can see that the, they have quite a bit of openings between the outside and the uh, brakes on the inside and uh, these are some standard wheels that they have compared to the, that I picked up looking at uh, some cars parked in uh, charging stations compared to aero wheels that uh, are also available and I think this represents an aero wheel design. And if you look at what data is available, and there's not much. There was a study done by Car and Driver that said about 3.4 percent improvement in efficiency. There's another one that was done by uh, Orbital Wheel Covers and they're showing about between two and two and a half roughly uh, efficiency percent efficiency gain with aero wheels over uh, no aero wheel covers and this was at uh, 70 miles per hour so uh, quite a bit higher speed than uh, I typically would drive but uh, it's good information to know so can we actually collect some data on these guys and see uh, what they look like I went ahead and got some cardboard and uh, traced out some circular covers to put over the top of my uh, turbo style wheels to see uh, what kind of mileage I would get if I had uh, blocked the airflow. I did this by uh, duct taping them over the wheels and this is what it looked like prior to the uh, final test that I was uh, getting ready to perform on a road that was uh, pretty isolated. Well the first experimental attempt it looks like it uh, was a failure. The uh wheels as I started driving down the road to do the first test I could see the uh, pizza wheels uh, falling off and rolling in front of the car down into the uh, margin strips and into the brush on both sides of the road so we're gonna have to find a uh, much more robust way to attach them. So rather than giving up I decided to uh, come up with a secondary plan which was cut out some cardboard inserts that would fit into the openings on the turbo wheel and then attach them with uh, packing tape uh, to get them uh, securely in place. And this is what it looks like before the test. And after a, a test drive around, uh, it looked like it was robust enough to not come up, at least up to 45, 50 miles an hour. Okay, so we're starting the test with the inserts into the wheels. Uh, this is the current uh, tire pressures and the trip computer has been reset so we'll drive at around 45 miles an hour and see what the uh, experimental data looks like. Okay we're driving the second part of the uh, control for the experiment and uh, we'll see how it goes. Temperature went up by about one degree. Oops, we're going a little too fast. So here's the data summarized into a data table. So the temperature went up about one degree during the uh, first and second part of the test. Tire pressure is also slightly increased in the uh, control part of the test, that, which was done after the first part. Uh, distance was nine miles. It was actually up and back down a road two times, so to negate any uh, wind effects or other uh, issues. Uh, target speed was around 45, so not as fast as the uh, tests that were done on Tesla, but hopefully we'll see some difference here. And then the measured miles per kilowatt hour were 5.3 for the covered wheels and 5.2 for the non-covered wheels which if I look at the information it says I was probably between 2 to maybe 2.5 to 3 depending on uh, some of the changes in the conditions between the uh, experiment and, and the test part of the, of the uh, evaluation. So in summary there's not a whole lot of data out there on aero wheels that I could find other than the car and driver article that most other articles are referring to and the data from the orbital uh, wheel covers that uh, are, are an aftermarket for Tesla. And yes, I know that uh, covering up the ventilation holes for the, the brakes is a problem, but 
I think at least for this experiment and the, the fact that most of us use regen braking like 90 plus percent of the time that it's probably not an issue at this point for testing. Uh, my aero wheels were showing about 2% uh, better than the control but the, uh, the tire pressures were slightly higher on the uh, control group and I saw it click over from 5.4 to 5.3 miles per kilowatt hour just before the end of the test so it could be anywhere from 2 to maybe upwards of 4% improvement. Um, the effect may be more pronounced at higher speed because the aerodynamic drag is going to be more at higher speed. I chose 45 miles an hour because that was what I could do in a reasonable amount of time and uh, effort uh, for the test. And finally, the uh, pizza wheels have a similar size opening to the turbo wheels, so they may not be that much better than the turbo wheels from what I could tell from the design, although I wasn't able to test them directly. So based on this information, I'm not going to change anything at this point. So I'm back to the regular old turbo wheels. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you found this interesting, or even if you didn't, please leave some comments, and I'd like to hear what your thoughts are about this as well.